focus on your breath, make up your mind you're going to stay here, and then try to stick with that decision. There's a passage where the Buddha says that the self is its own mainstay. But you can be your own mainstay only when you've learned how to train the self to be dependable. And if you don't have your own self to be dependable, where are you going to find something you can depend on outside? You've got to look inside and see which parts of the mind you can rely on, which ones you can't. And sometimes the good parts are not all that strong right now. Well, they can be strengthened. The parts that are looking for long-term happiness, the ones that know how to negotiate between what you know you should do and what you feel you want to do. Some people say that it's always going to be a conflict, but the Buddha's shoulds are things that you don't have to conflict with. He's basically saying you should try to comprehend your suffering, you should try to abandon his cause. Why does he say that? Because it's for your long-term welfare and happiness. All the parts of the mind want happiness, it's just that some of them have some very confused notions of what that would be and how to go about it. As the Buddha is giving us instructions, he's giving us guidance on how we can train the good members of the mind. Make them strong. Put them in charge. So your quest for happiness does yield long term. And it starts by training the mind. We train the mind with generosity. We train it with virtue. And we train it with the meditation, trying to get the mind to stay with one thing and then to remember to stay there. That's mindfulness. And alertness is watching what you're doing. These qualities have to be with the mind all the time. No matter what your task, you've got to remember how it, to do it well, what it means to do it well, what it means to do it poorly. And you have to be alert to what you're doing, and then you have to be ardent to make sure you don't go into the ways where you're doing it poorly, and you can train yourself to do it well. These are all really basic skills, but they need practice. They need strengthening, because we so quickly throw them away. So take this time to remember the breath, to be alert to the breath, and try to breathe in a way that feels good for the body, feels good for the mind. As for any voices that come up in the mind, you can sort them out. The ones that help you stay here, help you stay here well, those are the ones you want to listen to. The ones who, who want to pull you off someplace else, those are the ones you have to put aside. And this way you start sorting things out inside, so you find that what inside really can be depended on. We all have this desire for long-term welfare and happiness, and the Buddha says, honor that desire. But at the same time, you've got to strengthen the mind so that it stays in line with that desire, so other random desires don't pull you away. So this is how we strengthen it, through our virtue, through our concentration, through developing our discernment. And once you've developed these qualities inside, then you find that, yes, you are the kind of person you can rely on. When you have yourself as something you can rely on, then you're safe. <laughs>